fucking smooth as I thought. I was gonna show how epic of a setup I figured out. <laughs> yes, it looks really good. <laughs> Day two road tripping. Yes. We had a great night's sleep. I think we slept eight hours. Yeah. So now we're gonna go down, jump back in the car, and we're gonna go look at something that I've looked at about a million photos of. And yeah, let's just go look at it. Yeah, we don't have time. Actually, we're late. We're kinda late. <laughs> Things didn't really go according to plan last night. Yoon, you're really dressed according to the car. On you scene. know, it's important to match. Yes. I like your effort here. <laughs> Waking up to this, not bad. Good morning. <laughs> Let's go. Look, the level of excitement here. <laughs> it's actually much higher than it looks. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> we have some physical struggles. Mentally, life is f***ing Gucci. Well, the number seven car in the 1996 uh, Le Mans has uh, suffered a flat tire along the Autobahn. So we are calling for assistance. All right, thanks so much. Well, what's up? God damn it, we're like losing. I see number car number eight. They're like they're a lap ahead of us. You know the only good thing. The police is coming. Yeah, this is super. The police. Yeah, let me check. We got the car. They got this quick, o the Germans. They always have a German car in, in Germany. <laughs> so you gotta stay positive at all times. Yes. To better explain my Le Mans reference, the shop that we're visiting is with Michael Kessel. And he used to be the chief mechanic of the Freisinger Motorsport that ran the uh, 993 GT2s at Le Mans. So the chief mechanic. So the person that is going to help us could not be more qualified. So that's why I'm like, not that stressed. But what's a road trip without an issue? How's the office? Look at this. always better. That See, this is, is what it's what a trooper does. But this is sehr gut. That's a sehr gut, yeah. Genau. No breakfast. Red Bull only. Yeah, of course we didn't have breakfast, like, because that would be smart. Because we were only 20 minutes away from where we're going. Oh! I see something. Oh! On the good side of things, I kind of think my knee feels a bit better. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And maybe I just forgot about it. Hi, Neil. Mossy. Mossy. One car I had was about this high, so we had to really roll it up on, on stuff to get the jack underneath. So car number seven is now finally in the pits and they are about to change tires here to try and make up the four lost laps of time. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I think the puncture happened here yeah. and then we ran on it and like, you know, the 100 meters yeah. before we stopped was broken inside. The room looks, looks really fine. That's a solid one, huh? Welcome to Adventure Sunday. <laughs> But God, it's easy to vlog when you're doing road trips. Like, there's no shortage of content shit happening. See, this is the closest I will ever get 
to Le Mans. So, this is not no a, a real chief mechanic, Le Mans GT2 person, oh, yeah, yeah. having a look at the car. That's why I'm so relaxed because I could not be in better hands. Yeah. Smart. Lift the car, put like a, a hard piece um, in the spring, which kind of creates a lift. See, the only way you learn things is when things break. But it's so simple yet so smart. Mm. Although my wood would have worked well as well. <laughs> the wood did help. Look at that. Step one. So we have a couple issues. One, it's Sunday. Two, we need tires for the car. However, we have a set of tires at the shop, but they're a bit wider, so it depends on whether they fit. The other problem is we need uh, a shop that can um, switch the tires. So. David's now looking for a mobile tire switcher, which apparently they have in the UK, but I've never heard of that. If that doesn't work, then social media is our next step. Um, but we got, like, I mean, the plan was to sleep on the way to Southern Italy. So if we just sort of increase the intake of Red Bull, we still have quite a few, like, spare hours. So this is what we're actually here for. Leon needs a car as well. <laughs> <laughs> but now, should we talk about why we're here? Max Verstappen's grandpa used to have the engine that's in here way back in the day. No way. So basically this car is pretty much built on all GT2 parts. Basically the only thing that's not GT2 is the chassis number. Like we're talking chromoly cage, 1,050 kilos. Look at this. Like this is 1,050 kilos and I think it's currently at around 800 horsepower. And the only reason we're not driving it out of here is because we're gonna do some work to the engine. So the plan is to create the most extreme 993 GT2 in the world. You know, the amount of research I've done on this car over the past two to three months is extensive. Yes. So being able to see this now in real life, it is one wide badass GT2. You know, as you realize, we love the 993 GT2. The only problem is that it has two seats. And since we're a family of four, we're gonna solve that issue by having two. I think the build of this started Eight years ago. It's beautiful. I've only seen one million photos of it. One million photos. But I never saw it in real life. We're gonna work a bit on the a red car, but I wanted to, because I need to roll it out so that I can see it. But if you achieve a thousand fifty kilos on a 993, mm -hmm. then you know things is built properly. I first started looking at this car, and then the other car showed up on auction, and then I kind of entered for fun. But now I also realize that that thing drives great daily. This is maybe more of a Sunday ice cream car. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this wing, like. I would, however, put the banana wing back because I love the banana wing. But yeah, overkill vlogs are back. But now we got to figure out how to, how to progress our journey towards Cyprus. One way how to solve having a family car that only has two seats. You have two of them. Like, okay. <laughs> Look, this is crazy. You know, like, you know me that I'm, s I'm, my skill of doing things a little bit is like not good. So one GT2 is great, but two is better. But holy Lord, this thing is wide and extreme. Wow. But yeah, this one we're gonna leave here for now because we should get going um, considering uh, we now have 21 hours to do 1900 kilometers or something like that. But yeah, this one is gonna get some love in here and we're gonna jump in there. But first we have to really say thank you to these guys. Can we just say thank you like a million times for everything? No problem. No problem. 
for us it was worth more than you could ever guess. I hope you have a good have fun. trip. But now you can turn off your phones. So you don't <laughs> have to <laughs> no, we'll, we'll stay in touch. And again, thank you. No problem. And if you ever think of anything that we You're can welcome. help with, we, we always like to try to keep the balance of giving and taking equal. So now we thank owe you. you. Thank you. Okay. Epic. But now we have to get going. <laughs> Good luck. They're thinking, they're like, but, but why? Why are you doing this? What's wrong with you? <laughs> thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. And, and we're going to say ciao ciao as well. Okay. And you get to check out how our next little part of this successful journey is going. Yes. Okay. Next, See you in the next, next stop, Italy. This is a first for me. We're doing 55 in 100. This normal weather here? This door no good for this weather. 